This is Kodesha Nangani in Brighter Days. 20 years in America, deported to Senegal a few days ago. Her 20-year-old daughter was bearing up well as she related her mother's story. Oh, she was very strong. She didn't show us any emotions. Until we asked how her younger siblings, now teenagers, were handling it. Bakari turned 13 right as his mother, a non-citizen, was deported. Says he and Mustafa try to not dwell on it. I mean, I think they're very strong. They're showing emotions. They're, they're doing very good in school. They're very, they are eight students. Bakari is a seventh grader at Dater where he spoke with us about a phone call. She's doing fine. We talked about um, our plans of going to visit her and we think of, we asking everybody to forgive her and pray for her. Kadeja doesn't speak English, cannot read or write, and when she missed a court date regarding her immigration papers, ICE was legally able to detain and deport her. Immigration attorney Douglas Weigel says he was told with no elaboration by a lawyer for ICE she was considered a priority. Quoting Weigel, I've done this for 40 years. This one really puzzled me. That's her. That's her. Now they cling to photo album memories of their lost togetherness. Weigel says nothing he found in her background or profile justified an ICE pickup. We just here to get a better life to work and have money and trying to build life for ourselves. We're not here to harm nobody. What do you think about this system? Um, I think it can be improved in many ways. We reached out to ICE today for information about Kadesha's case, but have received no response. Weigel says he has no idea why she was detained so long from August 11, 2015 to this past weekend before being deported. The kids simply want to raise enough to fly to Senegal this summer during school break. Cherie.